adventure with you guys and I would love to shoot things and make them come out the buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's not even phrasing. You're that's learning a whole new thing about yourself. All right, hold on. Out of character, not a surprise to any of us. <laughs> not a surprise. All right, so. Swift digits. I know. I was yeah. just about to say that. <laughs> that's where the nickname comes from. The right. third. So you guys are now wow. stuck in this tower. Oh, great. Uh, the door is not budging. There's some arrow slits that maybe Xyla could fit through or you know, a nice tall climb up over the wall. I'm um, going to try to fit through. I want to get my grappling hook real quick. All I right. can get it for but you. Out of combat, I fit through. Out of so combat, it's, I can reach. Oh. It's just, okay. it's literally right in the window. Like, yeah, out of combat, it's very easy to get it. I out. just wanted to say it so I get it back. Okay. And um, also, yeah, no, that's all I can do. Um, because the goblin fell on the backside, or the gremlin fell, on the, <laughs> fell uh, on the backside of the wall. Yeah, they're both behind the wall, though actually... So we uh, can't retrieve any bolts or arrows stuck in them yet. Right. Okay, sorry, I just had to ask. Mike, I have um, a question. Yes. Um, wild magic, how often am I able to All use the that? time. Really? That is... So wild magic for wilders is basically like their ranged attacks. Okay. So that's why it's it's not awesome. even it's not even a spell, it's an ability. So you can... Every nice. round, you can just blast it out. Nice! Um, okay. Can I try to fit through the slits? Yes. Phrasing. <laughs> I want remember, to put my to, head in the slits. You have to lube up your head because it's the widest <laughs> part of you. All right. I'm, I'm going to try to poke my head through the You always have to lube slit the head. And see if now I can you can get easily, my whole You could easily uh, shimmy through it now. Okay. Wait, right. how'd you do that? <laughs> I would think that your arms went so first, you, but really oh, you yeah. just... No, no, go she goes through like, like, a, like an earthworm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you pop through on the other side, you drop down, there's little stumps that they were standing on yeah. by oh, the fire. Cheaters. And both of them are now just face down in the room, uh, laying on top of rubble, like there's a broken they're table on one side. Yeah, we I can wanna, confirm wanna, that they're both dead. I want to check their oh, yeah. bodies to, okay. and, and the surrounding areas to see if there's anything pretty that I can take. Zyla, get a tooth for me. Um, sparkly. There's nothing sparkly here. Like I said, but the one fell down in a trash pretty? heap. Uh, nope, they both Anything? have small blades on them. Shiny? And nope, they, these creatures have Reflective no at all. love for, no, there's okay. slime. There's, they live there's in the a dark. spot of slime on the wall okay. that's sparkly. Ooh. I don't want that. It's some goo. <laughs> all right. Sparkly goo. Unless you think you can turn it into butter. Break I can, on. but that's like that's only if we're gonna enjoy it. No, he can't it. turn yeah. it into butter. He can flavor it as butter. So you're still eating goo. Uh, All right, but... you can believe that it's butter. So they're in the back. <laughs> I believe it's not butter. Wait, what? You can't believe it's not butter? I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not goblin ichor. <laughs> If you guys start eating every bit of goo that you find, look, I love, have, I love we have when made it clear from the beginning. We ignored the adventurers board, and instead we wanted to consume. That is all. We've that is done. true. Like both in in real life and in the game, you guys have just eaten and eaten and eaten. Here so are all seriously. Of is there the consumables. anything interesting in this room? No. Or on their bodies. No, this is basically just a guard room. Okay. Can you get me a two? I mean, they have each one has a sword and each one has a short bow I'm and gonna, arrows. I'm gonna pry out a two. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That'll come back. Or you could just you see, there's just a, a bar holding the door shut. You could open up the door and let him do his own <laughs> okay. work. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna do it because <laughs> it's my first time adventuring and like I feel like I should. <laughs> so I'm gonna just <laughs> grab a tooth. With both of my hands, and then try. not even a tool. <laughs> just, just pull real I'm hard. Try to pull it out. And if it so I, we don't have alignment <laughs> in Sonnenborn, but I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> As well, you guys turn darker, we're gonna have to figure out some sort of repercussions for it. Well, the thing is, and it, teeth. It, it pops right out because these gremlins have a terrible diet of nothing but sugar. So their teeth oh, are just. I bet it smells bad. The, the worst thing is, is he rolled a 20 on the knowledge check and knows it's not true. <laughs> I'm just, I, I like to imagine. I like to give them the benefit of the doubt that they enjoy sweets. Okay. Uh, 
I'm still writing down a tooth. Well, if you think that makes me evil to do that, maybe I shouldn't do it. Then I'll do it. Alright, so, um, Zyla pops open the door, and you guys see at the back of the, uh, the tower, there's a staircase that's leading down. And there's no light coming from, from the staircase. It. Okay, um, do, does anybody have yes. a light? I have well, a candle. I have magic light. Okay, I don't we know. should maybe light a magic light. Because I don't know, if, does, does anybody have good eyesight in the dark? Uh, I'd like to think that uh, as a fawn, I probably have a little better than a human, but it's not established. I do have uh, ghost lights, but it is a one-time use. Oh, okay. It's one of my. Uh, um, <clears throat> I have low light vision for sixty feet. So. Oh, like ghost first. lights is not a one-time use. It's that's zero mana. Yeah. So you could cast that all the time. Yeah. Thank as you. long as you're not in combat, like you can just go. Ghost lights and have them floating around you like. Uh, like ghost lights. I did like not ghosts? realize that. Well, yeah. then, um, what I can do is. Um, all right. Uh, wait, whose turn is it? We're out of combat. We're out so, of combat. Well, then, um, here's what I can do. Uh, because I can um, create up to four ghost lights. So, basically, what I could do is I'll ask each of you real quick um, would you like a ghost light on you? Would you like it attached to your physical being? Would you like it hovering in front of you? Would you like it on your weapon? Uh, I, I, I can would give like it each right of you... above me, like a video game. Like... But that also makes you yeah, a target. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's going to think that you're like a quest giver then. You know what I'm <laughs> or or <laughs> the you're a sim. are going to go, yes, yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to do today? They're going to think you're a sim. And they're ooh, gonna... ooh, ooh. Well, then can I, I put mine on my, me? on my mirror? I don't know if that would be weird. Like, Can I like do it where it's like... On the mirror, so, so I can make a little like, reflective light, light, so I can move it yes. around and like see if, like. If it was a small sphere of light in front of a mirror, then you in theory, sense. but it would yeah. only be as I mean, big as the I mirror. How big is your mirror? Close to the like attached to the yeah. mirror. It, it, it's not a spotlight. No. It is a diffuse light. So yeah. So imagine be a, a candle of... light. Imagine a candle, or like imagine like a small like single like LED light. And so in front of a mirror, it's actually only going to cast a beam of light as big as the mirror reflection. But so oh, how about, forward, how about I, I, I take out my candle and I put it you on my candle? candle as if it's... You have a candle. Lit. Use your candle. My candle. Well, I don't know if I have I mean, a candle light, light is candle. pretty dim, too. It's only like 10 feet of light. I don't have anything light, to light so. it. I've, I mean, all right. This is only a tip. Everyone has everyone has a light around them. Okay. That's enough to give them some sort of brightness. <laughs> uh, sorry. And Zyla, this uh, my light is only a ten foot radius, okay. so uh, it's not gonna really. My low really... light vision is like sixty. Then you are better so than my magic. Maybe I just don't need that at all. So well, low, low light vision is sort of like seeing. I mean, you can. You can see, but you need light. So if you're going into darkness and there's not light ahead, you can't see. But if it was like moonlight, then you could see out. So you will All need right, a light. So if we get into a scenario, a light that's uh, way ahead of me, I can cast it a hundred feet ahead, but it only has a ten foot radius. I, mean, I, I believe you do, have to control it too. Let's do a light so that's ahead. It has to be within. We want to be able to see what's coming. Right. So, but what I'm saying is, you have to control it. It'd be like a drone. So, uh, yeah. uh, let's. Let's just, to, to speed things along, you can put a light on everyone's shoulder and you don't have to concentrate on it. If you try to do anything else fancy with it, you have to spend your mental ability to so move that light where the other person wants. What, what I've done is I've given you each a uh, will of the wisp that glows that is just hovering loosely okay. around, okay. but it's not in front of you. And I've made sure. If we need to put it out really quickly, if there's something, what do we do? Uh, that's just up to me. Um, if, if I have to concentrate on it, it goes away, or if I lose concentration, it goes away. Like, either way... And you could make it wink out if you want to. Yeah, so either way, it's actually really easy to turn on or off, but in the meantime, basically just imagine, like, a little, like, like a firefly, probably about as big around as, like, a golf ball okay. that is not in front of you, but, like, here, so that it's giving you a 10-foot, which doesn't benefit you, but it benefits us. But if need be, I could take my my concentration and move any of those a hundred feet in front of us okay but that's gonna be my turn all right well let's go down these stairs yes oh wait was there a door to the stairs no. okay let's go down the stairs should I check for traps anyways 
Yeah, probably. In, in the stairwell? Yeah, probably. Come up from this way. Um, nine. Nine? Looks clear. Um, did I get my grappling hook? Oh, yeah. All right. Arrows? Oh, wait, um, arrows? Thank Stairs you. Stairs look clear, guys. Uh, I know that I had, um... The, each of the goblin had, each of the goblins had, let's say, nine arrows each. So instead of, like, going out in the woods trying to find the ones you fired off... Well, like, I know that we each lost arrow. I have bolts, she has arrows, so to be fair, I know I lost one bolt up in the air and one bolt through... I can get, I think, two of my bolts back, correct? If you I know I lost one. If you spent a lot of time doing it. I mean, like, I'm counting, the only ones I can get back are the ones in oh, the carcass. Oh, the ones that you shot into? Yeah, sure. But yeah, I can't get the ones that no. are stuck in a wall. What about the ones that they were shooting? Can I use those for my short bow? Yeah, that's what I said. They, they each have nine arrows. But we can't forever. get the ones that are so stuck up like, in the stone. I'm going to take, like, four of those. Okay. All right. I am, I have regained right. two bolts. Whoa. All right, so we did. Um, we never figured out what was down through the hole. I always wanted to think that that's where the uh, the creep was coming through. That was a hole in the floorboard, though. Like, well, yeah, but the water's out. not going to be coming from above us. Well, we're about to head so, down to see. Well, anyways, oh, I thought we were uh, going up. No, 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 going no you're going down. Remember, there's nothing upstairs. Oh, there. I'm sorry. I thought the arrow was pointing the other way just a moment ago. No. It was. It was pointing as the stairs got darker going oh, down. Okay, okay. So, um, so you guys defend the, descend the final few steps, and the room before you is small and unlit. In the darkness, you can see two doors, though one has large rocks and wood stacked up in front of it. Um, I want to check guess. the check the doors to see if they're. I would. Okay. We should check the one that's not barred up because the one that's barred up has something behind it that the goblins themselves are keeping away. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check the door. The blockade is on our side of the door. Yeah. yeah. It, but it's not a blockade. It's just like stuff tossed in thr in front of it, like as if the door doesn't matter. Thirteen. Thirteen? Looks clear. Are you gonna so you're up at the door? Yeah. Um uh, that door? I'm yeah. sorry. Um you see some sort of mechanism that is attached to the door but you can't quite figure out what it is. Okay. Can I try to disarm it? Yes. Yeah. Here you go. Um I'll do your disarm check. Uh, what is your bonus? What's your thievery bonus? Four. Great. Something's going to happen. We all go to get it. All right. Um, go ahead and roll this. <laughs> you, uh, we'll you are pretty sure that that you. Um, do you have lock picks on you? No, you didn't have these tools. Thieves tools. I have thieves okay. Tools. Yeah. yeah. So um, your your picks go in and you uh, unhook a mechanism that you think that it's some sort of a spring trap on the other side of the door, and the door swings out towards you. Oh my gosh. Um, Do I? Can I duck? No, no, no. Do what I'm to what duck? I'm saying is no, no. You think that you've disarmed it. What I'm uh, the but door you didn't open it. The but door the opens up. No, 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 no. I'm telling you how the door works. Oh, okay. The door opens towards you, and you think there's something on the other side that would spring into action when the door opens, and you are 85% sure that you have stopped whatever the trap was on the other side. All right, we learned from this. I think right. maybe I'm just in a dream. I th I feel like we we maybe in a. Uh, a deja vu sort of scenario, although it never really happened, but I think that we did something like this before, or at least I have that feeling, and what if, because the door opens towards us, what if we took the pins out of the hinges and can use that door as a shield for one of us that doesn't have a shield? Well, what good would that do? Why, why, why would we need a shield? Because what if something behind that door is firing weapons at us? Okay. 
Well, well, like we can I'm, open the, the door. The door is or like could, I can't hold the door as a shield. Twice so as large as her, probably. You, you guys will have to hold the door. I got a shield. I was just trying to think of like you know something clever. Mm. Yeah, that it. door is too big for me to hold. All right. Um, well, we're not in a rush. I say we check the other door. Yeah, let's check the other door. All right. Um, this is the one with all the boxes in front of it. We got to move the boxes. Yeah, it's just like rubbish. It's not like filled boxes. It's just yeah. like wood and stuff. But it is right. pushed up against yeah. the door. Yeah. All right. So uh, you move that out of the way. Do you want to do a search yep. for that as well? All right. Yep. Is there a way to check the door without moving all the stuff in case? Sure. Um. A one, you're positive that there are no <laughs> traps anywhere near this door. Oh my god. Guys, I don't think there's any traps near the door. Okay. Well, I still think we should go through the one that's not like semi or haphazardly barricaded. I, my only thought before we move on, like, and, and I'll just say this to say it. If, if the door is blocked on our side, that means that whatever is in there is something that the Gromblins don't want to come out. Gromblins? Um, whatever. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about insulting them. Uh, like, what if whatever's in there could be our ally? Like, if they have... Or if it's they have just barricades. that bad. Well, that it's not bad guys don't like it. Or it's just going to be a really shitty gremlin who smells really bad or something that they're just like, "Oh, fuck him. He has to stay behind this door that's all like you guys can also put your ear up against yeah, the door. Uh, my yeah. theory well, is I would, I would like to I don't put my hand in the first door. My and theory with my is my ear and kind of like see if I can look around with okay. my mirror. I'm so, interested in what's behind the door. With so you have to go magic? Uh-huh. Can I detect magic? Yes. Does that is that a mana? Uh, no. Uh, all right, you cast Detect Magic and nothing's magic. Okay. Um, Can um, one of us, like me, because I'm really interested in the, the door with the stuff behind it, I really want to do an awareness check sure. to see what... Sure, do an awareness check behind that door. I, I feel like there's something that might help us behind that door. The, the Gromblins don't want whatever's in that door to come out. Like, they wouldn't barricade themselves in there. Or if they did, they would obviously have a horde of stuff that they could keep them alive. Because whoever's in there can't get out, which means that's their prisoner, which might be our ally. <gasps> Seven awareness plus four, eleven. Uh, you don't hear anything behind the door. There's nothing moving or Let's making just noise. go through the main door, the one that Xyla's at. Well, I'm telling She's you, on my eight. turn, I'm still going to go for that door. All right, so Zyla, you're looking through, so you open up the door. Yeah. All right, so you open it up, and you're looking through at the mirror, and you see that on either side are barrels that were rigged to collapse on anyone that walked through the door, but you uh, you disarm that trap. Nice. Okay. Um, the barrels are um, like up above us, or...? Are they full of mead? Like, no, they're just stacked up. Like, oh, okay. if you're looking through the door, they're stacked up on either side as if if you would open the door and walk through, those barrels would have crushed together Ooh. on whoever came through. Oh, um, okay. Besides that, the room is small and filled with rotting shelves. Oh, uh, let me open up the uh, thing for you there so that way you guys can see in. Uh, there you go. Um... There is, uh, there are empty casks against the wall. The floor is covered in gray moss. I want to open up that, uh, that chest thing. Do you want to wait um, for us? Well, yeah, can, can I move up to the door? Because we still can't see all the way. Um, actually, uh, we're suspension of disbelief. You guys don't see that chest on the far end unless you start searching the room with okay. that awareness check. I would like to search the room. All right. <laughs> Can I go up to the door? <laughs> yes. Where are you? Um, 20. You went over here 20? to do a check. All right. Um, you find a hidden door that was not hidden in the map. <laughs> uh, in the back corner, it's a trap door that 
obviously leads deeper down. Oh, that's a trap and, door. Um, oh, okay. Uh, it looks much better in that one. Now, to uh, the while the rest of this building is falling apart, everything is well built. This trap door, which was hidden underneath like uh, burlap sacks and, and stuff like that, this it's a rough cut opening. The door is rough wood. It's just like stuff that's been found around a built. This is, it is not part the of the same. original floor plan. No, that's what I'm saying. Is it's not. Okay. It's obviously different than the rest of of the building. I need to check that little trap door for traps. All okay. right. Apparently, it is a trap door. So she's I mean. gonna be. Okay. All right. I am yelling out to you guys that I am still not coming in that room yet. I am determined um, to go check that other door. What'd you roll? Two. Two? It looks clear. <laughs> Looks clear. All right, so Bergamot goes over to the other door. Yeah, put uh, me like. What do you want to do? Oh crap! I gotta quit looking at that screen. That one? No, it's the same it's as this one. Screen. Oh. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, I want to open it. All right. Uh, the door pulls open towards you, and uh, it opens up. Let me. Open it up for you. Um, the floor in this room is collapsed into a large hole. A small edge rings around the edge of the room, but besides that is crumbling into the depths below. Light from the room above filters through the opening that makes up most of this room's ceiling. Is this so, like the same hole it is. as the one yeah, that The hole in? above okay. falls yeah. down through okay. this floor. And then, yeah. But there is, as, as, as you can above. see on the map, there is a little bit of a edge around it. Yeah. Um, and it's simply because of my position that I can't see what's in that corner of the room. Right. I should have been in a better spot. I mean, it does, right? You can move back and forth and just see. Just move me right. Uh, I, I mean, you're right. peeking in. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Okay, there, there's um, no creatures in there. Then I feel fairly satisfied, although I'm still uh, very interested in. You now, can hear water down below in the yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, I already, I already realized that hole has to go to the same place as the trap door, which has to lead down towards that creek, which I was interested in from the very beginning. Um, I am making a mental note because neither of y'all have seen the hole or the creek or any of that, but um, I feel satisfied that that room, I, I, I feel satisfied, so I'm ready to come join you in this room and let's take the more legitimate approach, but um, I want to still stay uh, at the outside of the doorway right next to Ada so that uh, in case once that trap door is opened, I feel much more confident that there's nothing coming up from the hole, but there might be something coming up from the trap door. Well, I'm just opening up that trap door. I'm, I'm going to be right behind her. I'm good. I'm, 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 uh, I'm right opening in. it. No hole barred. All right. Kick open the door. Into the trap door. Awesome. All right. Down the trap door. Woo. Down the trap door. <laughs> open up. <laughs> trap. <laughs> This trap door brought to you by Ancient Age Whiskey. <laughs> the ancientest of whiskeys. Enjoyed right, so by gremlins and elves alike. Before I change the map, I'm going to read uh, a little description I have from the trap door down. Okay. Um, you can see most of the room below from the trap door. This dirt floored cavern looks to have been carved from the rocks under the tower. It is not the same type of the building as the tower and seems much newer, though rougher. A soft glow of torchlight comes up from below, and an underground stream flows quickly through the western part of the room below. There's your stream. There it is. Well, that's my stream of consciousness. I'm bummed out that we've still the, only seen two goblins. The only thing is, is uh, there is no ladder or rope or anything down. I've got I have some a rope. grappling hook. And rope. Well, Xyla's pretty weightless. Like we could just like you know. So how down. if if I'm looking down, like how far down is the floor? Um, it's 
It's about a uh, 12 foot drop. Hmm? That's not bad. No, we all have the ghost light flying and I don't around us like already. Use my rope. Oh, um, then I will. Uh, no, wait, but Zyla has um, 60 foot night vision, um, but I can, if you need me to, Zyla, I can. There's cast... torchlight down there. Oh, there's torches. light down there, yeah. Okay. Um, so there's probably something down there waiting for us to drop down. I mean, you guys have been pretty quiet. You didn't set off any traps or anything. You open yeah. up the door. Would it be safe to call this floor B2? Sure. Thank you. Um, basement 1, basement Is there a two. way that I can oh, jump down without using a rope or hurting myself? You could do I mean, it. 12 feet, like, am I going to break a bone or something? No, you could do an acrobatics check. I mean, if you roll badly, you could hurt yourself. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to jump down, guys. Guys. Um, I Got think it. you could leap. I might not be uh, agile enough to do that, but I will probably lower myself with my rope. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to jump down. I want to watch you do it. All right. Here I go. That would be an eight. An eight? All right. Um, you jump down. You don't hurt yourself, but it is... It's going to hurt tomorrow. It is not graceful. <laughs> uh, was that flailing on the way down? Making right. lots of noise. You did that like... <laughs> so you drop down uh, and uh, land in this room. And the only uh, sad part about it... There's a ladder? No, that that's... There is a ladder, but it's up against the wall. Oh. All right, Laura, don't don't move Zyla. Sorry. I'm I was not gonna say because the two of us are still. I'm doing it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. The I'm two gonna of us just are not down yet. Move yeah. you guys out of the way at the moment. All right. Um. So, Zyla, you drop down, and the sad part is there's two ledges that you couldn't see when you're peeking down. And there is two goblins ah! just relaxing there on guard, and when you just drop down. They're both like, huh? And uh, I will let you do one partial action, which is yelling or getting a weapon ready or something. How far away are they? Um, look at the map. They are looming. <laughs> like they are like. So they're like um, down on the same level as me. No. No, no. Uh, they're, up they're, above. they're on ledges up above you. So when you look down, right. you couldn't see them. So you drop 20 feet. They're at a 10 12 feet. 12 feet. Yeah, okay, 12 then feet. they're at six feet. They're like at the halfway okay. point. Um, I'm gonna. So I can't like yell and pull out a weapon at the same time. Seems like. What, what, I'm, do. I'm just saying. What do you want to do? I want to pull out my short bow. Okay, so you pull out your short bow. Um, so, uh, you guys are looking from above, you see her drop down, and then she all of a sudden looks worried and pulls out her short bow rather no, quickly. No, we don't know that she looks worried because we're not even close to the hole that she dropped down. Yeah, but there's still a light by her, and it's still 10 feet, and then if there's 10 feet from my light, oh my God, I can I see her. Extinguish my light. For real? You're in torchlight. It doesn't matter. Okay. The light okay. doesn't matter. We can see her, then, if she's in the torchlight. No, light. for realism, yeah. I am still outside of the door that leads to that room. I yeah. cannot I'm see. I'm down there. So I'm going to say, Wait, holy. you're down? No, like, I'm right at the door, I mean. Like, or I'm right at the trap door. All right, so, so. everyone roll initiative. Twenty. Seven. Okay, one moment. Remember, I've got to add in everyone's initiative, yep. so just I'm, give me I'm a moment for you to ask. All right. Um, Ada. Seven. Seven. Bergamot. Eighteen. All right, and uh, Zyla. 20. 20. Nice. All right, so Zyla, you go first. All right. I'm going to shoot at one of them. I am clueless as to what's going on. Right. 
absolutely clueless. Nobody's made a noise. Nobody has given me any reason to think that there is anything to worry about because I was yeah. off checking the other door. That was your decision. Right, but you guys could have yelled. Am I able to, like... You don't see anything yet because you're... you're... Well, I'm right behind her. I was right behind her when she dropped down. Right, so you see her pull out the bow and then shoot, but you... Because we're now in combat, yeah. you'll move and they, when they've, you they've, like, pulled out their weapons, right? Like that's I mean, they were on doing. guard, yes. Yeah. So, all right, so, so you want to shoot? I'm going to take a shot at the one that is closest to me. All right, roll attack. Uh, nine. Nine? Nope, your arrow uh, slams into the uh, rocks below them and shatters. Yeah. Uh, Bergamot, you're up next, but you're going to hold your turn to the end. Yeah, I have no reason to think that anything's happening. All right, so one of them fires down an arrow at Xyla and rolls a five. That misses. The other one fires an arrow. 17 oh, plus five no. is 22. That's oh. enough to hit. Oh, gosh. Oh. Hit me. And does one point of damage. Okay. So the arrow just... Skins past your shin, uh, slicing open your leg a little bit. The skin shin. All right, uh, Ada, you're up next. I'm at least, like, I'm going to yell out to Bergamot. Um, what are you yelling? Just get in here or something that alarms you enough to actually come and help. I like um, imagining that you yelled or something. Yes. Anyways, so can I... Can I use daze or wild magic on something I can't physically see if I know where she nope. shot? Nope. You see her fire, so you would have to drop down and then use... Uh, the drop down would be a move action, but you'd have to do an acrobatics to make sure. Well, jeez. I don't have a grappling hook. Um, whew. Uh, I guess I will... It's 12 feet up. I guess I'm going to do an acrobatics move. All right. Seven plus two, nine. Nine. All right, you drop down and almost crash into Xyla, but you land uh, on your knees. It's oh, gonna be, It's going to be bruised tomorrow. <laughs> Um, but then you see the two goblins, the one that she ah! fired at. All right, so you can do one more action. Days. Um. All right. So then it has to do a will save against DC 13, and it rolled a 20. It My does not gosh. look dazed at all. Bergamot, what do you want to do? You've just seen Ada said, what did you yell, Ada? I'm or something. down here. I oh, said... Get, get down here. here, and then she jumps down the hole. She yelled, or something, which she made said, all the fur, over, yeah. like, sort of prickle on, on the back of my neck. And so I'm like, well, shoot. Um, so, uh, oh, I... Oh, shot? What else shot? No, I don't have a shot. Um, There's nothing in there. I can fix that. Uh... What I want to do is, um, I, I realized that my um, standing in the background was, there's another action going on that I'm ignoring. <laughs> um, so I realized that uh, both of the ladies jumped down and that I was uh, playing the wrong game by uh, being uh, a little bit precautious, so I actually would like to Um, I'm assuming that I am close enough to sort of just propel myself towards the hole, but what I... So basically, if you look down the hole, you can just see both of them down there in the middle of combat worry. And you can your choice is either to drop down or to spend the round like setting your grappling hook and shimmying down. Can I dive and uh, perform a trick, uh, one of my um, one of my talents. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, one of my um, spells? spells. Yes. Yeah, but you'd have to do an acrobatics check just like them. 
Okay, so what I what I want to do is because um, I had um, my uh, I had given each of them one of my lights, but I have four, so I want to try and uh, I, I don't want to do the same thing I did with the spiders, which was way too complex uh, with the blinding light. Uh, I want to do a similar blinding light thing, but instead I just want it to be like an instantaneous distraction where. I die. The spell won't work like that. If I you, can't fall and throw you, you the can't, spell. That, that spell doesn't work like that. It's just ghostly lights. Okay. It, it'd be like waving like a dim LED light in front of someone's face. It worked with the, the hashling spiders, but it won't work again. Um, well, I can tell that my companions are in trouble, so the, the, the very least that I need to do is get down there to aid them. So um, I'm not going to take the time to like set up a grappling hook or anything. I need to get down there. Now, you could drop down while singing a song and instantly inspire them. I was going to suggest that! Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I'm just all the way, we're all the way down there. I mean, I'm, have to I'm yell just, yeah. I sing it, sing it, higher, higher! I don't have a new song prepared, so just keeping with um, my new favorite song, which is, actually, it really fits with with this tower because as we learned from the moment we got here no i can't hear you i'm uh, um no you no no i can't i'm sorry right, hallway, this is only six seconds it's i know been five no, minutes no, no, six I know. seconds tell no, me what I know. you do now i you got you distracted me with your song suggestion no i have to stick with my initial song which is no my initial song works my initial song is tear the roof or tear the tooth off this this brother sucker or motherfucker. But actually, what I'm gonna say is tear the roof off this motherfucker. Right. So which you is drop the original down, words. So you drop down. Roll a d20 for an uh, acrobatics check to make sure you don't just crash down on top of them. And it's so funny if he rolls a one after all of that, <laughs> and there's like no singing. He just crushes oh, both no. of you. And I say tear the roof off, which means the roof is actually. If I roll a one, the roof is literally gonna collapse on us. <laughs> Keep flipping it. Fifteen, and I get a plus one and plus one, so seventeen. All right. So Bergamot drops down through the hole. It doesn't land. Uh, and I'll, I'll wait, say wait, wait, uh, for a moment, athletics. for a moment, for no, you it's guys, it's only just plus one. Sixteen. It feels as if time stood still, as if Bergamot was like telling you all the things he was going to do as he drops down the hole. <laughs> And That's then he drops down. Does his fur like flip he drops up down. into the air? Yeah, I mean, he, he looks just like it looks soul. like somebody took a a human size mop and just <laughs> threw it. And all yeah. your hair is like. Yeah, so you can't tell what's up but and down. Because he rolled well, when he lands, he lands in the superhero pose, <laughs> one knee, <laughs> fist to the ground, while singing. But you all still right. can't tell yeah. which side is up. And then he's up. like lands and then. So then all of you guys are now at a plus one for hits and damage. Awesome. And now Bergamot, so it, is, five, it right? is your turn again. But um, hopefully it won't take so long for you to decide what to do. Then I'm freaking firing my crossbow all like right. I do like a champ. <laughs> What's the time for that? Is that 30 seconds? We only have six I don't know. It is way shorter than you describing your action. Seven plus, uh, this is just my attack, which is uh, nine. All right. So and and you try to be uh, very uh, smooth, and you shoot the crossbow off to the side, and it just <laughs> it flies into the river. Like, you just, you stop you, trying yeah. to be smooth, man. Maybe, like, maybe, 